In this Windows Server Basics video, I'm going to give you an overview of all the roles and features that are available out of the box in Windows Server 2025. In this video, I'll talk specifically at an overview level of the built-in roles and features, leaving detailed coverage of specific roles for later videos. Even though I'm only providing an overview, this video is longer than usual simply because there are a large number of roles and features that Windows Server includes out of the box. You could pick up all this information by reading the role and feature descriptions, but in my experience, most people only look for the role they want to install or remove and rarely browse to see what else might be available in the operating system. So sit back whilst I take you through all the roles and features in this latest version of Windows Server. Generally, but not always a role, is something that the server provides to clients on the network, and a feature provides some sort of additional functionality to Windows Server itself. However, having said that, the line between what is a role and a feature is a little blurry and perhaps even somewhat arbitrary. And no matter what definition you come up with, there will be counterexamples. So let us start with the Windows Server roles. I'll go through each role and provide a description that's about a sentence or too long. Active Directory Certificate Services is used to create certification authorities and related role services that allow you to issue and manage certificates used in a variety of applications. Active Directory Domain Services is an on-premises identity store. Active Directory uses domain controllers to give network users access to permitted resources anywhere on the network through a single logon process. Active Directory Federation Services, ADFS, provides simplified, secured identity federation and web single sign-on capabilities. ADFS includes a federation service that enables browser-based web SSO. Most organizations that connect on-premises Active Directory to Entra use Entra Connect, but in advanced custom federation scenarios, you might choose to use ADFS as your federation service. Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services, ADLDS, provides a store for application-specific data for directory enabled applications that do not require the infrastructure of Active Directory domain services. Multiple instances of ADLDS can exist on a single server, each of which can have its own schema. ADLDS is no longer under development. Active Directory Rights Management Services, ADRMS, helps you protect information in documents stored on Windows Server from unauthorized use. It's similar to the purview technology available in Microsoft 365, but only really works for a contained on-prem environment. A DRMS establishes the identity of users and provides authorized users with licenses for protected information. Device health attestation provides the ability to assess the health of managed devices. For example, is the device up to date with software updates? Is anti-malware enabled and are appropriate firewall rules configured? The DHCP server role enables you to centrally configure, manage and provide temporary IP addresses and related information for client computers. The DNS server role provides name resolution for TCP IP network. DNS server is easier to manage when it is installed on the same server as Active Directory Domain Services. If you select the Active Directory Domain Services role, you can install and configure DNS server and Active Directory Domain Services to work together. The DNS server service can also be deployed in a standalone configuration on a standalone server independent of Active Directory. Fax server sends and receives faxes if you have a compatible fax modem and allows you to manage fax resources such as jobs, settings, reports, and fax devices on this computer or on the network. Believe it or not, even in 2025, a large number of organizations still rely upon faxes as a method of document transmission for compliance reasons. File and Storage Services is a suite of roles and role features that allows you to host shared folders on your network. 
also includes the role services for data deduplication, iSCSI target, server for NFS and distributed file system. The host guardian service server role provides the attestation and key protection services that enable guarded hosts to run shielded virtual machines. Shielded VMs in Windows Server are highly secure virtual machines that are protected from tampering and unauthorized access through encryption, secure boot, and health attestation. They help protect against compromised administrators and malware by ensuring VMs can only run on trusted, health-attested Hyper-V hosts. The attestation service validates guarded host identity and configuration. The key protection service enables distributed access to encrypted transport keys to enable guarded hosts to unlock and run shielded virtual machines. Hyper-V provides the services that you can use to create and manage virtual machines and their resources. Hyper-V supports both Microsoft and third-party operating systems, and one of the big differences between standard and data center edition is the included licenses for Windows Server operating system. Network Policy and Access Services manages network access authentication, authorization, and accounting through features like Network Policy Server. It can act as a RADIUS server to enforce network access policies and provide centralized authentication for VPN connections, 802.1x wireless, and wired network access. Print and Document Services allows you to configure Windows Server as a network print server. Printers can be published and assigned through Active Directory. Remote Access provides connectivity through direct access VPN and Web Application Proxy. Direct Access provides an always-on and always-managed experience. Remote Access Services provides traditional VPN services, including site-to-site -site connectivity. Web Application Proxy enables the publishing of selected HTTP and HTTS-based applications from your corporate network to client devices outside of the corporate network. Routing provides traditional routing capabilities, including network address translation and other connectivity options. Remote access services and routing can be deployed in single tenant or multi-tenant mode. Remote desktop services enables users to access virtual desktops, session-based desktops, and remote app programs. Use the remote desktop services installation to configure a virtual machine-based or a session-based desktop deployment. Generally, you pick the remote desktop services installation when choosing the installation type rather than this role service. Volume activation services enables you to automate and simplify the management of key management service, KMS host keys, and the volume key activation infrastructure for a network. With this service, you can install and manage a KMS host or configure Microsoft Active Directory based activation to provide volume activation for domain joined systems. Internet Information Services allows you to deploy a web applications and supporting infrastructure on Windows Server. Even though it's about as exciting as salad, a large number of the world's intranet websites are hosted on Internet Information Services. Windows Deployment Services provides a simplified, secure means of rapidly and remotely deploying Windows operating system images to computers that Pixie boot over the network. Windows Server Update Services allows network administrators to specify the Microsoft updates that should be installed, create separate groups of computers for different sets of updates, and get reports on the compliance levels of the computers and the updates that must be installed. Windows Server Update Services is no longer under active development, but if you deploy it on Windows Server 25, it will still be functional in 10 years when the operating system reaches end of support. Next, we move to Windows Server 25's features. .NET Framework 3.5 features provide functionality that support applications that rely on .NET 3.5. .NET Framework 4.8 features provide functionality that support the current .NET applications. Two of the seven features available are installed by default. Background Intelligent Transfer Service asynchronously transfers files in the foreground or background, 
controls the flow of the transfers to preserve the responsiveness of other network applications and automatically resumes file transfers after disconnecting from the network or restarting the computer. BitLocker Drive encryption helps to protect data on lost, stolen, or inappropriately decommissioned computers by encrypting the entire volume and checking the integrity of early boot components. Data is only decrypted if those components are successfully verified. BitLocker Network Unlock enables a network-based key protector to be used to automatically unlock BitLocker protected operating system drives in domain joined computers when the computer is restarted. This is beneficial if you are doing maintenance operations on computers during non-working hours that require the computer to be restarted to complete the operation. Only required if you have certain BitLocker options set. Branch Cache is a Windows Server and Windows client feature that reduces WAN bandwidth usage by caching files, websites, and other content at branch office locations. When multiple users access the same content, it is retrieved from the local cache instead of downloading again from the main office servers. Branch Cache installs the services required to configure this computer as either a hosted cache server or a branch cache enabled content server. If you are deploying a content server, it must also be configured as either a hypertext transfer protocol, web server, or a background intelligent transfer service based application server. To deploy a branch cache enabled file server, use the add roles wizard to install the file services server role with the file server and branch cache for network files. Role services. Client for NFS enables the Windows Server computer to access files on Unix-based NFS servers. When installed, you can configure a computer to connect to Unix NFS shares that allow anonymous access. The Containers feature provides services and tools to create and manage Windows Server containers and their resources on the Windows Server computer. Windows Server containers are the Windows version of the Linux containers used with Docker and Kubernetes. Data Center Bridging is a suite of IEEE standards that are used to enhance Ethernet local area networks by providing hardware-based bandwidth guarantees and transport reliability. Use Data Center Bridging to help enforce bandwidth allocation on a converged network adapter for offloaded storage traffic such as iSCSI, RDMA over converged Ethernet, and Fiber Channel over Ethernet. Direct Play provides support for applications that use the Direct Play Networked Gaming API, sometimes used in remote desktop scenarios where GPUs are in use. Enhanced Storage enables support for accessing additional functions made available by Enhanced Storage devices. Enhanced storage devices support IEEE 1667, allowing for hardware-based security features including authentication and access control through cryptographic keys. When a device has enhanced storage capabilities, administrators can implement policies to require authentication before accessing the device's contents, helping prevent unauthorized data access even if the physical device is stolen. Failover clustering allows multiple servers to work together to provide high availability of server roles. Failover clustering is often used for file services, virtual machines, database applications, and mail applications. Failover clustering is definitely one of those features that feels like it should actually be classified as a role. Group Policy Management is a scriptable Microsoft Management Console, MMC, Snap-in, providing a single administrative tool for managing group policy across the enterprise. Group policy management is the standard tool for managing group policy. It's surprising that this is included as a feature and isn't part of the Active Directory role. The Host Guardian Hyper-V support feature allows a Hyper-V server to provision shielded virtual machines. This is another feature that would better fit under the host guardian service role we covered earlier. The IO quality of service features allows configuration 
of I.O. quality of service settings, such as maximum I.O. and bandwidth limits on applications. IIS Hostable Web Core enables you to write custom code that will host core IIS functionality in your own application. Hostable Web Core enables your application to serve HTTP requests and use its own application host config and root web config configuration files. The Hostable Web Core application extension is contained in the hwebcore.dll file. Internet Printing Client enables Windows Server computers to use Internet Printing Protocol to connect and print to printers on the network or internet. IP Address Management, IPAM, server provides a central framework for managing your IP address space and corresponding infrastructure servers such as DHCP and DNS. IPAM supports automated discovery of infrastructure servers in an active directory forest. IPAM allows you to manage your dynamic and static IPv4 and IPv6 address space, tracks IP address utilization trends, and supports monitoring and management of DNS and DHCP services on your network. This is another feature that feels like it should have been a role. Line Printer Remote LPR Port Monitor enables the Windows Server computer to print to printers that are shared using any Line Printer daemon service. The Line Printer daemon service is commonly used by Unix-based computers and printer sharing devices. Management OData IIS extension is a framework for easily exposing Windows PowerShell commandlets through an OData-based web service running under IIS. After enabling this feature, the user must provide a schema file which contains definitions of the resources to be exposed and an implementation of callback interfaces to make the web service functional. Media Foundation, which includes Windows Media Foundation, the Windows Media Format SDK, and a server subset of Direct Show, provides the infrastructure required for applications and services to transcode, analyze, and generate thumbnails for media files. Media Foundation is required by the desktop experience and is most useful in remote desktop services scenarios. Message queuing provides guaranteed message delivery efficient routing, security, and priority-based messaging between applications. Message queuing also accommodates message delivery between applications that run on different operating systems, used to similar network infrastructures, are temporarily offline, or that are running at different times. Microsoft Defender Antivirus is an anti-malware solution that is provided with Windows Server, you can replace it with an alternative if that floats your boat. Multipath I.O. along with the Microsoft Device Specific Module or a third-party Device Specific Module provides support for using multiple data paths to a storage device hosted on Windows. Multipoint Connector allows your computer to be monitored and managed by the Multipoint Manager and Multipoint Dashboard apps. Multipoint Server is a Windows Server feature that allows multiple users to simultaneously share one computer, with each user having their own independent workstation consisting of a monitor, keyboard, and mouse, while sharing the computing resources of a single host PC. Multipoint Services is available through configuring the server with a remote desktop services installation. Network Controller deploys and maintains the hyperconverged infrastructure network configuration. Network Load Balancing, NLB, distributes traffic across several servers using the TCP IP networking protocol. NLB is particularly useful for ensuring that stateless applications, such as web servers running internet information services, are scalable by adding additional servers as the load increases. NLB is no longer under active development, and whilst it will still work until Windows Server 25 is no longer supported, you should consider a third-party NLB solution. Network virtualization provides overlays of virtual networks on the same physical network. Conceptually similar to VLANs, it uses encapsulation and policies to separate tenant networks, 
enabling overlapping IP addresses between different virtual networks and providing enhanced security and flexibility for multi-tenant environments. Quality Windows Audio Video Experience, QWave is a networking platform for audio video streaming applications on IP home networks. QWave enhances AV streaming performance and reliability by ensuring network quality of service for AV applications. It provides mechanisms for admission control, run time monitoring and enforcement, application feedback and traffic prioritization. On Windows Server platforms, QWave provides only rate of flow and prioritization services. The Remote Access Services Connection Manager Administration Kit allows you to create installable remote access profiles that can be used to connect to remote access services. Remote Assistance enables you or a support person to help users with diagnostic issues or questions by allowing you to view and get control of the desktop to troubleshoot and fix problems whilst the current operator is connected. Remote Differential Compression computes and transfers the differences between two objects over a network using minimal bandwidth. The remote server administration tools are all of the Microsoft Management Console tools for managing Windows Server roles and features. RPC over HTTP proxy relays RPC traffic from client applications over HTTP to the server as an alternative to clients accessing the server over a VPN connection. Setup and boot event collection allows the collection and logging of setup and boot events from other computers on the network. Simple TCP IP services supports the following TCP IP services. Character generator, daytime, discard, echo, and quote of the day. Simple TCP IP services is provided for backward compatibility and should not be installed unless it is required. SMB 1.0 slash CIFS file. Sharing support is provided for backward compatibility and you should not be using this version of the SMB protocol. SMB bandwidth limit provides a mechanism to track and limit SMB traffic. It is commonly used to limit the bandwidth used by live migration over SMB. Simple Network Management Protocol or SNMP service includes agents that monitor the activity in network devices and report to the network console workstation. Storage Migration Service orchestrates storage migration, which allows you to migrate all elements of a file share from one server to another. The Storage Migration Service proxy performs the inventory, transfer and cutover for a storage migration. Storage Replica allows you to perform block level replication of entire volumes, either locally or to another server. System Data Archiver allows you to collect and archive Windows Server system data. System Insights provides the services that are needed to manage and invoke predictive analytics capabilities that analyze Windows system data. For example, predicting when storage or memory resources will reach capacity, given current trends. Telnet Client allows you to create Telnet connections to remote Telnet servers. This is separate from the built-in SSH server that is available in Windows Server 2025. The TFTP client allows you to read files from or write files to a trivial FTP server. TFTP is often used by embedded devices for firmware updates. VM shielding tools for fabric management are a set of utilities that you can use to manage shielded virtual machines. WebDAV Redirector allows for specially configured websites to be mounted as shared folders. Windows Admin Center Setup provides a wizard that downloads and installs the latest version of Windows Admin Center. Windows Biometric Framework allows fingerprint devices to be used to identify and verify identities and to sign into Windows. WBF includes the components required to enable the use of fingerprint devices. Windows Identity Foundation 3.5 is a set of .NET framework classes that can be used for implementing claims-based identity in your .NET 3.5 and 4.0 applications. It's provided for backwards compatibility as WIF 3.5 has been superseded by WIF classes 
that are provided as part of .NET 4.5. It is recommended that you use .NET 4.5 for supporting claims-based identity in your applications. Windows Internal Database is a relational data store that can be used only by Windows roles and features, such as Active Directory Rights Management Services, Windows Server Update Services, and Windows System Resource Manager. Windows Internal Database is no longer under active development, and Microsoft recommends you migrate to SQL Server Express Edition, or another edition that suits your needs. Windows PowerShell 5.1 is included in Windows Server. You can update to the latest version of PowerShell by using WinGet or by downloading the binaries from GitHub. Windows Process Activation Service generalizes the IIS process model, removing the dependency on HTTP. All the features of IIS that were previously available only to HTTP applications are now available to applications hosting Windows Communication Foundation services using non-HTTP protocols. IIS 10.0 also uses Windows Process Activation Service for message-based activation over HTTP. This feature probably could have been included as a role service for IIS. Windows Search Service provides fast file searches on a server from clients that are compatible with Windows Search Service. Windows Search Service is intended for desktop search or small file server scenarios and not for enterprise scenarios. Windows Server Backup allows you to backup and recover your operating system, applications and data. You can schedule backups and protect the entire server or specific volumes. Windows Server Migration Tools includes Windows PowerShell commandlets that facilitate migration of server roles, operating system settings, files and shares from computers that are running earlier versions of Windows Server. Windows Standards-Based Storage Management provides the ability to discover, manage and monitor storage devices using management interfaces that conform to the SMIS standard. This functionality is exposed as a set of WMI classes and Windows PowerShell commandlets. Windows Subsystem for Linux allows native Linux binaries to run directly on Windows Server without modification or virtualization. It provides a full Linux kernel and enables developers to run Linux command line tools, utilities and applications alongside their Windows applications. Windows TIFF iFilter performs optical character recognition on TIFF 6.0 compliant files and in that way enables indexing and full text search of those files. The Windows Remote Management IIS extension enables a server to receive a management request from a client by using WS Management. WinRM is the Microsoft implementation of the WS Management Protocol which provides a secure way to communicate with local and remote computers by using web services. Wins Server provides a distributed database for registering and querying dynamic mappings of NetBIOS names for computers and groups used on your network. Wins maps NetBIOS names to IP addresses. Wins is no longer under development and you shouldn't be using it. And we've been told it will be removed from the operating system since Windows 2000. So if you're ever worried about a feature that isn't being developed going away, just think about Wins. The wireless LAN service allows Windows Server computers to connect to wireless networks. WOW 64 support allows 32-bit applications to run on server core deployments. Even though the interface says removing this will convert a desktop experience installation to server core, I tried this and the desktop experience remained. The XPS viewer allows you to view XPS documents. XPS is the Betamax to PDFs VCR, and that's all the roles and features that are included out of the box with Windows Server 25. All these things are included because somewhere out there, Microsoft customers are using them in production environments, and Microsoft is nothing if not fanatical about ensuring backwards compatibility. Hope you found this informative and I'll see you in the next video.